Hi, I'm Dr. Gareth Moore and I'm a puzzle and brain training author, but in this video I won't be writing puzzles, I'll be solving them. And in this video in particular we're going to have a quick look just at the start of a Deckscape game. There are actually bunches of Deckscape games available, mm. there's a couple on my shelves back there. I've sold some of them in the past, this Alice in Wonderland one, I assume it is, it says in Wonderland and there's a girl falling, so you know. I've never solved any of these before, so I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Well, they work like escape room games, except they nice. don't have a decoder disc or any website to enter stuff into or an app or anything. So you basically work out what you think the answer is, then you turn the card and you discover you're right or you're wrong. You so they, you they work better when you're doing them with someone who's less bothered about actually solving the puzzles and can just turn the deck and tell you if you're right or wrong. Okay, nice. But obviously very portable then. It means you, you could probably do them... <gasps> Caution. Anywhere you like. Do not look through this deck, nor shuffle the cards. There's a That's mirror at the back. Oh, we're probably not meant to look at that yet. Well, I think we are. How do you think so? It's a, it's got a funny crease in it. I think it's got, oh, it's got a bit of, I think it's got a plastic it laminate really on shiny. it. It's really shiny. We'll wait until that's relevant. Um, right, okay, then. do not look at this deck, nor shuffle the cards. Each card shows a number from 1 to 64 in the upper left corner. If the card order has been altered, ask a non-playing person to... Or an adult. <laughs> to reorder the cards in 164. Sorry, I interrupted you there. <laughs> Remove the deck from the game box and then flip this card. Okay. Oh, you're looking at it from the wrong side. You're looking at this from the wrong side. So we're going to have a go at maybe the first card, the first two cards, and just see. We're going to have a little walk through, see yes. how that goes. And then we'll come back and we'll do a full solve of the we'll deck the some other day. Thing. I'll probably discover it afterwards there's some easy way of opening this, which shouldn't involve scissors. And by the time we come round to solving the whole thing, the chances are I'll have forgotten the tutorial anyway. So that's always good. Well, there isn't a tutorial, it's no, just the start true. of the game. This is our tutorial. Right. Do not look through the deck. We've done that. Okay. Right, Deckscape in Wonderland. Once upon a time, note crossed out, right this moment, very funny, there is a group of players, or a reckless solo player, <laughs> who have decided <laughs> to open that. that's quite funny, mm. who have decided to open this box and play a pocket escape room. Welcome to Wonderland, hey. an imaginary kingdom full of, what does that say, full of reveries, reveries. that will test your skills and deceive your mind. Mm. A place as easy to enter as flipping a playing card, but be careful not to get trapped between the cards. And oh I feel goodness. you should go, Mwah! something like that. And then there's some copyright information yes. that we probably don't need to read out on camera. Read the next card. Okay, right, don't okay. Mind if we do. This deck contains a story with many puzzles to be solved in as little time as possible. This game is for one to six players, which we are, and lasts about 60 minutes. Or longer if you're rubbish. <laughs> quicker if you're amazing like we are <laughs> this or we say that all the time <laughs> this is a cooperative game and that's why i'm not letting you talk oh my goodness okay this is a cooperative game you win or lose all together as, as a, a team. team i think that's important for us yeah. all to remember before playing put the following things on the table Ooh paper, a pencil and a clock to check the time which we're not going to do today because we just can't handle the stress the and we're only going to do two or three cards. We recommend you choose a quiet Ooh, place to play. Good tip. Once you get everything you need to play, flip this flip card. Flip this card. We're gonna. Right. Mm. In order to win, you have to solve puzzles, make smart use of the items you find and understand the plot of the story. No specific foreknowledge is required to solve the puzzles. With the right dose of madness, no, forget that. Anyone can do this. Great. Read the next card. Alice has got blue hair. She's very bossy, isn't she? Blue hair? I think it's a ribbon. Oh, it's a blue hair at the front. It is a little bit of blue hair. Oh, you're right. Oh, heavens. What a scatterbrain. I forgot even to introduce myself. Please take my magical mirror as a gift to make up for my rudeness. My name is Alice and it's a pleasure to meet you. Finally, someone sane in this world of madness. I'm not sure about that. Don't be shy, come with me and I'll show you how things work around here. Take the magic mirror out of the box, keep it for the game, it could be useful. Flip this card. Yes, it, does have a, it does have a sheet of protective. <gasps> what a moment. Hey, look, we're really here. We're really there. It's not just, where are you? There you Whoa. are. It's not just, not, that was a very flattering view. <laughs> yeah, for myself, anyway. Right. We've done that. Flip this card. Let's flip the card. The next card is the first puzzle. Are you ready to play? Yes, get on with it. First, carefully read the next card, then discuss it to find a common answer. Finally, flip the card to check the solution. Read the next card. Did you read see I read that very card. clearly? Yes, yeah, smashed it. There's no place like Wonderland. How lovely. You can go this way, the wrong way, to the tea room. Sounds good. Or you can turn, turn around. around. Right, eyes. No place is like any other, but Wonderland really is special. Mm, how lovely. It's a very peculiar place Ooh. where what is normal looks strange and what is strange just looks normal. Ooh. Just take a look. What's strange here compared to your world? Ooh, it's a spot the difference with reality. <laughs> so what are we doing? I don't know. Turn around, tea room, wrong way, this way. Well, I, I would point out that the this way arrow is not actually centred. 
as in like the horizontal bar does not centered with the bits but i think that's neither here nor there i think that might be a design quirk yes well she's got blue hair which is kind of she does have blue hair which is a bit of a and there's a is there like two moons two suns or something what's strange here compared to your world i feel we're falling at the first hurdle already is there an arrow that doesn't make sense none of them make sense but i mean is there an arrow where it points I don't know. So th th there's this way and tea room, and then there's one two which give, say it's wrong, wrong way and turn around. What well, is normal looks strange. What well, is strange looks normal. Is there anything else? I'm just trying to look. What well, is strange? Let's look at the trees. The shadows. Ah, oh, the shadows. The sun is here, and the shadows go the wrong way. Oh uh, yeah, well done. So that's what's wrong, isn't it? The wrong way. And now you turn the card to see whether you're right. The really strange thing is that the sun is shining above you, but the trees are casting their shadows to the right instead of away from the sun. Crazy, right? It only happens on this road passing between your world and Wonderland. Wonderland. If the answer's wrong, don't worry for now. It takes quite a while to get used to the quirks of this world. And it says, read the next card, but I think... We might do that in another video. Yes, we'll do that another time. So that's basically how it works. Well, there we go. That is how Deckscape in Wonderland and all the other Deckscapes work. Mm. Um, and we'll come and solve that in a future video. But we just thought it'd be fun to have a bit of a look now. Have a go. I'm excited about solving that, actually. I quite like, because I know we're quite used to these sort of involved boxes. So I quite like something that's just one and done. And you just keep going once you've figured it out. So it should be really easy, right? Yeah, I mean, I think some of the puzzles, I think I recall doing some previous ones where we... I was solving them we weren't able to work out the correct solution and then someone would look at the answer and give you a bunch of hints because okay. there's no hint system in this game so you know if, if on that first puzzle you didn't understand that the sun was the issue then you know there's no you can keep looking at it and hopefully you'll spot it eventually yeah. but there's no like mechanism in the game to nudge you towards the answer to help you short of the fact that you may or may not have a friend or a familial member or a dog that comes very clever. Imagine. And that you can look at the next answer, read the next card, and then hopefully understand the puzzle. Because, yeah. you know, so not everyone will fully understand all the puzzles without context, I imagine, and then give you a hint. All part of the rich tapestry of life. Yeah, and I think there's uh, there's like seven or eight of these games, maybe more. I may be nice. slightly wrong. As of the time of recording, there are quite a few at any rate. Um, so I've played a bunch of them, but this one is reasonably new, maybe a year or two. Uh, and there's another Dracula's Castle one I've got, which I haven't Ooh, played. So spooky. we'll look at that in a future that. video too as well. Um, but I guess that's all there is for now. If you enjoyed mm -hmm. that, please, please comment. If you'd like us to solve any particular games or talk about them, then do let us know in the comments too. And if you want to watch us solve this game, then yes. don't forget to subscribe because it will pop up at some point. Down here, if you watch on the YouTube website or the app, there should be a subscribe button, which will let you, uh, well, you have to sign up for an account. But once you've done that, it will then help recommend to us. Click the Recommend button. to you click our it. future videos, I hope. <laughs> yeah, definitely click. Please click. Please, please, please click. We beg. We beg. No, really. Um, otherwise, also just like the video. That helps too for us. Or leave us a comment. We absolutely yes, love reading everybody's love comments. comments. It's nice yeah. to know that it's not just the two of us and there's lots of people solving <laughs> along with us. So. Um, yeah, and check the links that appear at the end of the video and also in the description down below for links to our other solves, our full solves not just our introductions like this yeah. and our other content but I guess all remains for me now then is to say goodbye bye and for me to say goodbye bye, bye.